Hey guys, what's up? I'm back again with a brand new video review. One that I've been excited to do ever since I freaking picked this guy up. This is Transformers Prime First Edition Bumblebee. Let's just say, wow. I. If this guy was supposed to be the. Uh, sorry, that is my phone. Sorry about that. Um. But yeah. Like, if this was supposed to be the bottom of the barrel of, of Transformers Prime. It is very well done. Either way, no matter what figure you pick up, you're gonna get one dead solid figure. I mean, look at that. That's a pretty nuts looking transformation. Because mainly, most of the transformation is in his upper body. His legs are barely anything. Now, I don't really have anybody in, uh... Oh, wait, I do have somebody in the vehicle mode. Real quick, hold on. Whoops. Um, here is the, uh, Dark of the Moon Leader Class Bumblebee. So, you can kind of see how they stack up. He's still a smaller vehicle, but compared to him, he's got a very different style of transformation like with this one on you they can't open up the doors and stuff like that and yeah get him close back up but anyways yeah very nice very well done I don't think I could be any happier with just this figure in general like no joke, I have literally, like, no complaints with him. He's a really dead solid figure. So, we're going to pull this out to start his transformation. And to transform him, pretty crazy. What you're going to do is you're going to break apart the entire back section of the car. And then split the doors, which takes the entire roof with it. On tab, his uh, his uh, shoulder things from it. Um, let's do his legs. You're gonna fold his legs out like that. Flip these down, and flip his feet out. Split it, and there you go. Whoops. Am I seriously the only one who actually had a little bit of trouble with? getting him to stand up okay you know what let's just move on with the transformation now you're gonna close these panels up and then you're gonna break and you're gonna come underneath here and you're gonna lift this piece up a little bit to get these free fold this piece down come on um, you're gonna swing his arms down like that, and you're gonna lift this piece up like that, swing his waist forward, which should help him stand up a little bit better. There we go. Okay, so let's move him back a little bit, have me move a little closer. Because now, what you're gonna do, you're gonna rotate this, rotate this. Fold this entire piece down, and there's a little gray tab, like this little dark gray tab right there, that this is gonna swing down and plug into, and that locks that into place. You're gonna fold up that abdomen piece, and then uh, you take this piece and you're gonna fold, and you're gonna kind of sort of, like it doesn't exactly tab, but it kind of locks itself in. Anyways, you're going to lift the shoulders up, up, rotate them, and then fold these pieces up, and there's a little tab and a hole in the wheel, a tab on, to, on this and a hole in the wheel, which allows you to tab that together, and these just kind of split apart. Almost 
on here. Eh, there you go. Now, without further ado, there is Transformers Prime Bumblebee in his robot mode. There we go. But yeah, that's his robot mode. Uh, just kind of fold it over a little bit. There we go. There's a nice little Autobot symbol. And I guess you could plug this into his hand and have him hold it as a little handheld pistol. Oh, hey, I actually got it to work. <laughs> but yeah, that's really weak. I barely pulled on that and popped out. Because it's mainly meant to go in his arm. I'm a very cool looking fit. He's a very cool looking figure. I like. I don't think I. He's pretty much my holy grail as of now because he's the first of the prime figures I've ever gotten. I have been looking forward to the prime line for like ever. And yeah, just he's a really cool looking figure. I'm not gonna lie. I honestly really do like him. Now to get him in with another figure that I've managed to pick up. Here is I didn't pick this guy up with him. I I will show you the figure I picked up with him in a minute. But here's a Generation Scourge. And you can see the tall, like just a totally badass looking figure. Here's the figure that I got with him. I was gonna do the whole buy to get the third free thing, but they didn't have scourge, so yeah. There's a, a cup. That's the figure I got with uh, my uh, Prime Bumblebee because I didn't want to walk out on it with just one figure. Which probably would have been smart. And, uh, yeah, that that's pretty much it. And one more thing, I didn't, my, I, I, I stupidly, I stupidly threw, threw out the packaging, but I did keep this, the, uh, stand, you know, they just, they go on there, and you can display them. It's very cool that they're actually trying to get kids to learn to display their figures when they're done playing with them, but, you know, for me, I could care less about the stand. I, will, I seriously thought I was going to be the first one to be like, oh, I can't wait for that stand, and, yeah, I don't really care for it. So, yeah. Would Bionic Bionics recommend Transformers Prime First Edition Bumblebee? Um, hell yes. He may be bottom of the barrel of most Prime figures, because not a lot of people like his design. He's a damn solid figure. For bottom of the barrel, this is solid. So, if you want something really cool, for your Transformers collection, he is perfect. Absolutely perfect. I don't think I can say that enough times. He's perfect. I have like no complaints with him at all. I mean, I guess you could kind of count these. Oh, hey, I actually got him to lock in this time. Okay, so yeah, no complaints. Okay, so what? Further ado, that is. Uh, yeah. Without further ado, that is the uh, Transformers Prime First Edition Bumblebee, and this is Bob Gubiner signing out.